built in 1395, Gyeongbok Palace is recognized as the noblest main royal palace in Korea's ancient Joseon dynasty. There's Mount Pugak north of the palace. On the south, Gwanghwamun Gate is situated. Government offices were located outside the gate. The area in front of Gwanghwamun Gate is to slip back into its old ways. This is an image of Gwanghwamun Gate about 100 years ago. There was a Wolte, or the Joseon era ritual stage made with stone in front of the old gate. Wolte was used as the venue of various royal rituals or ceremonies. It was also a location where the public made appeals to the king. It's a spot of harmony where the king was communicating with his people. Wolte is found in other building and structure built in other monarchies. The Wolte in front of Gwanghwamun Gate that was damaged by the Japanese colonialist is to be red integrated. The statues of Hete, which were in front of the gate, will be moved back toward the square to its original location. In Korea, Hete, a legendary creature or mystical unicorn lion, is known as a guardian against fire and disasters in royal palaces. The State Cultural Heritage Administration and the Seoul City Government have agreed to expand Gwanghwamun Square by 3.7 times its present size. Gwanghwamun 역사 광장을 잘 조성해 문화유산의 복원 측면에서 좋은 사례로 길이 남길 수 있도록 노력을 하겠습니다. Gwanghwamun is the main gate of Gyeongbok Palace, which was completed 623 years ago. However, the palace was burned down during the Japanese invasion of Joseon. Although the palace was rebuilt in 1868, it was damaged during the Japanese colonial rule of Korea and the Korean War. Gwanghwamun은 국가 경영의 천년 철학과 또 인본 사상이 실현되는 중심지로서 여전히 국가의 주요 중추 시설이 모여 있는 곳입니다. 또 이렇게나 지리적 중요성과 정치적 상징성이 큰 탓에 광화문은 역사적 고비마다 훼손되고 또 왜곡되는 시련을 겪어야 했습니다. The 99.5 billion won project to expand the Gwanghwamun area is scheduled to be completed by May 2021. The district, which was in the heart of the Joseon Dynasty city plan, is now to be reborn as the center of modern Korean history and culture.